कैसे हो भाई बहनों आज हम लोग ट्विच की डिजेनरेसी के बारे में बात करेंगे लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन आई वाज लाइक स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियोस ऑफ यू नो इट्स लाइक ओह वाओ एन इंग्लिश टाइटल यू क्लिक ऑन इट एंड इट्स लाइक ओह ओह ही स्पीक इन माइनक्राफ्ट व्हाट्स गोइंग ऑन देयर नो इट्स इट्स ऑलवेज फन टू मेस अराउंड विद द विद द इंट्रोस हियर बट यू नो वी हैव जोक्स एंड वी हैव लाफ्स ऑन दिस चैनल बट वन थिंग दैट आई दैट आई टेक वेरी सीरियसली टू माय हार्ट ओके इज द यूट्यूब टर्म्स ऑफ सर्विस इन फैक्ट एनी टीओएस ऑन एनी वेबसाइट ओके यू नो थ्रू आउट माय करियर आई हैव मेड प्लेन of types of videos on this platform some that i think may even encroach upon the TOS but never break it okay you know as somebody that's made over 200 300 episodes of deep web browsing pretty much you know dealing on a platform where whoo breaking TOS was almost a commonality there was a reason i never really streamed that kind of stuff just because you know you never know what could pop up so it's always better to have it recorded and then edit it and sanitize it for consumption later Now live streaming is a little bit different, okay? Live streaming you got to be careful. And if I go to Twitch's TOS, which is the topic for today, uh you can tell that uh there are certain things that are just not allowed on the platform. For instance, if I was to do dank web browsing on Twitch right now, well, according to Twitch's terms of service, I can't browse 4chan or the dark web, okay? That's not going to happen. So that series would be fundamentally not okay. In fact, I can't even use randomized video chat services like Omegle if that even existed. Why? Because somebody could just unleash Dong Force 2024 right there on the screen anyway. So some things make a lot of sense. But you know what doesn't make any sense on Twitch? Nudity. All right. Now, in the last like I would say several years, Twitch has basically gotten this reputation of basically being like a softcore website, okay? Where you can basically watch almost near adult content without any repercussion from Twitch. So, let's actually dive into what they just did today. So anyways, Twitch decided to today all of a sudden go, "Hey, our community guidelines are designed to help make Twitch a welcoming place. Content on Twitch is always evolving." <laughs> Now, what do they mean by always evolving? Ladies and gentlemen, it wasn't actually too long ago that a week uh, a week ago pretty much, one of the top uh, you know, Twitch rule breakers, the Twitch lawyer uh, lawyers I would say at this point, Morkpie, was actually streaming with green underwear on. <laughs> Now, some of y'all video editors watching might be might be going to the next step. The reason she wore green underwear is so she can actually overlay green screen gameplay play a Fortnite on the green underwear so the camera would fundamentally be pointing at her butt cheeks but because there was gameplay over there it was kind of like an artistic sort of bypass of the rules that Twitch is constantly changing this is what they mean by constantly evolving rule sets now for me mork pie i look at her kind of like a lawyer on Twitch you give her a TOS she'll find some loophole around it to bypass which i guess is sort of the content that she produces other than that she's somebody that basically sells uh, of material and what not basically Twitch is an advertising funnel for this individual to get people off of the platform to less restri restrictive platforms where she doesn't have to even wear the underwear to begin with okay this is what Twitch means by naturally evolving now if you're wondering Muda why can't you show an example i literally can't because i think by showing you an example i would be violating the youtube terms of services okay regarding nudity Now there's other situations too which actually blew me away in this stuff. I didn't even know this could be a thing, but as of a week ago, there were metas that were called the clam cam, the starfish cam. And you might be wondering, "What mood are they talking about like aquariums or something?" No. Okay? I'm talking about fucking buttholes, all right? Yeah, we're getting to the point where we can literally start seeing like the entry point into somebody's digestive tract from the back side. Right up. That's a camera that they're basically providing. And again, I have to censor this. I have to actually blur this stuff out because if I didn't, if I wasn't, I would get a termination on YouTube. I would get an actual guideline strike. <laughs> And of course this kind of content is insanely popular. We're talking about vods that are locked behind subscriber paywalls that are getting up to like 200,000 something views. 300,000. It's insanity. Now again, I'm watching a Twitch stream that is completely blurred and blocked out for all of you watching because I am quite literally witnessing somebody put on the most minimal amount of clothing 
possible. I mean, at this moment in time, this site, if somebody was to walk into my room, they would think, whoa, is this Twitch TV or is this Chatterbait? Honest to God, this is the reality, okay? On the holiest months Ramadan, we have to be witnessing this kind of stuff. Now, at the end of the day, I'm not going to sit here and be a prude and say this is outlandish. I think if Twitch wants to have content like this, it's totally okay. Twitch should allow content like this. But like I said before, age gate it behind like a paywall. Age gate it behind like something. Blur thumbnails. Put an 18 plus category. Put them in a different section. Because the section they're sitting in is hot tubs, pools, and beaches. And I'll be real, in a lot of these streams, I don't see no hot tubs. I don't see no pools. And last I checked, there were no goddamn beaches in the entire frame whatsoever. Now, of course, the perfect type of streams that exist, obviously in the content copyright, you know, farm of Twitch, is at least Family Guy 24-7. So if you wanna watch some Family Guy content, reminder, there is a stream that is catering to three people, me included, watching Family Guy all the time. 24-7, 365, uncensored, by the way, too. God, I love this website, dude. You wanna, <laughs> you wanna bypass copyright? Pfft, right here. You wanna bypass age gates? Right here. Now, you know, when you go to like Twitch, their terms of service is often weird. Let's go back to their post today. We want to make sure our rules work as intended and keep up with emerging behaviors. Instead of rewriting the rules, if you want to actually ban these people, just specifically ban the people that are making a mockery of your rule set, if that's what you want to do. When needed, we make updates to our rules to capture those shifts in behaviors. And so it's clear to the community what is allowed. It actually isn't really clear to the community at all. Because in reality, people are just sitting here wondering how far they can take these metas. People have made a joke out of this TOS because all they do is sit and find loopholes, when in reality, everyone knows exactly what's going on. These are just people advertising to Twitch viewers, in some cases, children even, so they can jump down the OnlyFans funnel and they can get them off the site into like actual adult material. Again, if Twitch wants to do something about it, they can deliver some bans. You know, I, I, again, this is one of those situations situations where it's not like the rules are, if anyone's making it unclear, it's actually the site itself. So apparently on March 29th, what they said, not today, by the way, they're prepping people for this, okay? They're giving two days advance notice to all the streamers who are violating these rules or finding loopholes to find the loophole to this. Content that focuses on intimate body parts for a prolonged period of time will not be allowed. We've included additional details and definitions in our community guidelines. So of course, you know, like a good boy uploading my content onto multiple platforms, I'm gonna learn about these, these, uh, these content guideline changes. So immediately what they said is like any form of like content that is titillating is just prohibited from broadcasting, uploading, soliciting, or linking to content. So the way that they link to OnlyFans, if you're wondering how they were able to do that or any form of website, is through a proxy uh, known as Linktree. Generally, most platforms, YouTube included, will not allow you to directly link your OnlyFans or any website that is 18 plus. So you go to Linktree, you put all your 18 plus content in there, maybe you lock it behind a little uh, toggle box, but because you're from the YouTube platform or Twitch linking to Linktree, then Linktree leads, you actually don't technically violate a rule right there. It would be a serious, scary situation if all of a sudden all these websites started to block Linktree or any like, you know, Linktree type service on their platforms. So anyways, this is when they start getting into crazy stuff like attire. So for instance, in the standard guidelines, what they said is we don't permit streamers to be fully nude or partially nude, including exposing genitals or buttocks, nor do we permit streamers to imply or suggest that they are fully or partially nude, including but not limited to covering with objects or sensor bars. So remember back then when people were literally sitting naked on stream, but just they had like black sensor bars, like it was like a, the Sims, okay? Like literally Sims gameplay in real life. Yeah, that was one rule that they had right here. Now they've got like contextual exceptions. So if you're on the swim and beach category, the concerts and festivals, swimwear is permitted as long as it completely covers the genitals. Yeah. From what I've seen, it almost barely does it, okay? There's a little bit of dispute to be doing there. And those who present as women must also cover their nips. Full coverage of buttocks is not required, but camera focus around them is still subject to our uh, sexual themes content classification guidelines. What do you mean full coverage of buttocks is not required? So you can just show bare ass on stream? Didn't know that. 
Coverage must be fully opaque, even when wet. Sheer and partially see-through swimwear or other clothing does not constitute coverage. Content subject to this contextual exception must be placed within the pools, hot tubs, and beaches category. Content that violates standard attire guidelines and is not subject to this exception, wearing a bikini outside of a pool or beach setting is still violative if it's placed into the pool hot tub. So generally what'll happen is people just green screen a beach there and say, yeah, we're at the beach, boys. And I guess that's pretty much as close as you can get. Now, of course, a TOS violation is nothing new out of the ordinary. You know, at the end of the day, the thing about like this kind of TOS, especially when it comes to like nudity and sexuality, YouTube had an issue, like I would say, months ago when somebody was literally applying nair to their butthole for educational purposes. You actually got to see a butthole shaving tutorial on YouTube. And the only reason you were able to do that is because the actual depiction of nudity in that case wasn't even something that was necessarily supposed to be stimulating, right? Which I guess is the key word in the situation. Even on YouTube, you're allowed to show actual nudity, I guess, to an extent. If you do things artistic, like for instance, if you're educating people on the mysteries of naked yoga, okay, I'll let the brain figure that one out. I actually covered this, I would say years ago. And uh, this is a situation which, again, YouTube kind of cracked down on because for a while, people are just uploading like actual adult material, but just titling it yoga to get past the YouTube moderation. Nowadays, the channels that exist apply very little blurring, if any, and actually do make educational depictions of people doing yoga without their clothes on. Now, of course, if you're wondering how this is allowed on the platform. Again, it's supposed to be educating, not stimulating. But you can imagine, obviously, for the people that are consuming this content, I'm sure plenty of people know their positions in yoga and they don't need somebody to be totally naked in doing so. But again, this is the only way to see somebody do the downward dog without any clothes on and not catch a community guideline strike. Insanity. Now, when it comes to Twitch's rules like this, obviously they have some pretty hard set rules, like you can't be playing certain games, okay? You can't be playing games like Yandere Simulator, okay? That's not allowed to happen, okay? You can't play games like What's Under Your Blanket, but you can definitely actually come across pool, hot tub, and beach streams that are straight up ready to show starfish and funnel people on to adult websites at some point down the road. It's a, it's a little bit insane if you really do think about this, okay? It's kind of wild to see where Twitch is evolving. Now, in the general sense, I don't think that Twitch is as bad as I guess it was initially. Now that I connect to Twitch, I genuinely do see people playing gameplay. And again, in their most popular section, which is just chatting, there are people that are just chatting. Now, this kind of harkens me back to a time when Twitch had unregulated gambling and they banned that obviously to protect children, right? Which is with the you know understanding of the time. And of course, if we look at one addictive vice like gambling, we can look at another addictive vice like adult material and kind of apply the same logic. Look, at the end of the day, Twitch is a website that caters to 13 and older. It starts at 13. I wouldn't have an issue against this kind of content if they had proper age gating, thumbnail blurring, everything. But as it stands, you can literally not have an account, go onto Twitch TV, go to any of these accounts, even if they have like adult, you know, filters applied, all you do is click one button and you immediately are able to watch any of this kind of content. And look, at the end of the day, all right, I wouldn't have an issue if there was actually some form of proper gating. And this is a website that starts at 13. So it's one mainstream news article away from actually being destroyed and torched in front of the grand, you know, uh, public out there, right? Imagine if for some reason, you know, you have like these big publications hitting Twitch because, hey, this is a website where 13 year olds can connect and donate bits to literal like online adult entertainers, right? And again, Twitch, these people, these, these streamers, they're not necessarily violating the TOS. They're just playing around it. But at the end of the day, all of these Twitch, you know, uh, sites do is they serve as advertising funnels to OnlyFans or other adult content, which again can be pretty dangerous, right? It's a pretty, it's a pretty thin line we're walking. And that's one of the things that I kind of wanted to really harken down over here. I wanted to talk about that specifically. I think what Twitch is doing is incredibly dangerous, and I think what Twitch is doing is incredibly stupid in the grand scheme of things. Look, playing this like merry-go-round, this cat and mouse game of let's change your TOS, let's keep these people on and also not on at the same time. Look, if you want to look at the greater community, you got to start actually handing out some bands. And I'm not talking about like a 24 hour band that does that does nothing but advertise your next stream to have a record numbers. Look, this is clear. Like we don't need to pretend this is very clearly designed to sexually stimulate. Right. And it's 
funny to watch some of these streamers like kind of uh, bypass the TOS and make a joke of it. But at the end of the day, this is very seriously just another OnlyFans like adult entertainment like funnel. And if you're going to have a site that has 13 plus, you know, uh, people like uh, teenagers, then you got to be able to properly limit this kind of stuff anyways. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know. Maybe I'm too old and prude talking about this, but this is just one of those things where I think like in the grand scheme, it can be far more dangerous than anything. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like if you dislike it, I am out.